Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm just doing your cards for the 15th of January. We're halfway through the month. Hasn't that gone fa uh, fast? Well, if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and the bell, then you'll be notified when we go live. And of course, um, I'll be going live tonight. There weren't there weren't so many people yesterday as I went live at lunchtime. I've split a tarot deck and I'm going to pull a card for each sign. You can choose one or two or both. So here we go. And Capricorn, you've got the Five of Pentacles. That means that you might feel left out. You might feel le left out of a group or a um, family. So what is the matter with you? Are you wounded? Did somebody wound you? Um, are you too much independent? So somebody has left you out. Do you have to take care of something or somebody? Are you not well that you have to um, uh, take time out so that you're not together with people? Okay, don't worry. This is short-lived, my darlings. Remember, you've got the church window. So that means spirit is still here and the angels are with you too. Don't worry. And you've got the Nine of Swords upside down. So I, it doesn't mean that you are worried or that you're too much in your head. Um, this way up it does, okay? So don't worry. I don't think you are worried and you don't have to worry. Ah, so if you've chosen two, then you are not having sleepless nights. You you are not too much in your head, but you know that there is an ending because a nine is an ending. There's a new period breaking on. So if you've chosen one, then the second card, choose the second card as well, because you can choose both. It's up to you what resonates with you. There is an ending coming. It, like I said, it's short-lived. Okay, you'll be a member of something again, or you'll be getting better because you are sleeping properly. You'll get your rest, so you'll be joining the family or the group pretty soon. Now we're going on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you are in. You are too much in your mind. You might feel tied up in a situation as you've got the Eight of Swords. Take Shrug, you can see that she's got free hands, so shrug those ribbons or rope off and take the blindfold off. So in other words, come out of your mind. And once you've taken the blindfold off, you can see what is happening right in front of you and around you. So make your choice in a decision. Your second card is the, three, uh, the Two of Rods. The two of rods, you are making plans for the future. Yes, if you take that blindfold off, you can see what's happening around you and you, then you can plan and make decisions and um, for the future. Now we're going on to Pisces. Pisces, you've got the fool. You've um, most probably got a new beginning, but you don't know what's happening. You don't know the full details of this new beginning or perhaps it is advising you to take that leap of faith to take that leap of faith it could be in a partnership in love or business but make sure if you are partnering up trying to get the information and talk to each other so that you are bonding and that you can get the information to see whether the relationship is a stayer okay now um, you, uh, uh, Aries, you've got victory, you've got victory, you've got the six of wands, the six of wands means victory is yours, you've got public recognition, you might be going on holiday or moving home, you might be taking a short break or you might be buying that car you've had your eye on and hmm, okay, or well, you've come through the competition because the five of ones means competition mock fights not real fights although things might have been tough you've come through because you're the victor you've won the competition okay 
And now we're going on to Taurus. Taurus, and you've got the King of Rods. You might be meeting a fire sign that might be a partner in love or business. He uh, He's the King of Rods uh, because he knows how to make decisions and take action to make them come true. He works fast and very independent and for, uh, sure of himself. He's got the strength and the force with him. <laughs> uh, it sounds more like Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, he might, um, he might, like I said, you it might, you might start something new because he's got the force and the strength with him. Okay, you've got the Empress, so that means fertility. If you are a lady or a man, this could be a birth of a child or a, a job or a, a new project. Perhaps you want to start a new project. Okay, Taurus, if you're not meeting a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. And if you are, or you are partnered up, then your partner, um, the, imp the Empress, is a Virgo. So that is an other Earth sign. The Empress is a Virgo. You could, uh, sh they could be expecting, or uh, there is a new beginning for uh, the males, or you might be um, uh, your partner, you might find out your partner is pregnant. Um, there is a pro perhaps a new project uh, that is being born. Um, this could be work, this could be hobby, uh, this could be something that you really wanted, because that is what the fire signs do. When they want something, no wild horses can drag them away from doing it. They have to go into action and they have to get what they want. So that could be the new project or you have invested in something and it is growing and it has blossomed already perhaps and you can harvest it. Perhaps this is harvest time for you. Now we're going to Gemini. Gemini, you're going through a tough time or you have been through a tough time rather because you've got the nine of wands. You're taking a rest before you start that new beginning. Okay, you have learned many lessons and you might be dreaming to, uh, sorry, it's not the Seven of Cups, it's the Eight of Cups. You want that new beginning, you want that excitement, so the, there is an ending and a new beginning for sure. That's a new beginning and you want a new beginning because that's what the Eight of Cups uh, um, signifies. You want excitement, you want adventure, you want something new, okay. Um, with this card, I always say, um, that's great, but make sure that you know what you want um, and go for it. But don't throw old shoes away before you've got new ones. Then we're going on to Cancer. Cancer, somebody might be coming back from the past and giving you a gift. Or you might be remembering about your childhood, the good and the bad memories. Okay, you might be reminiscing today. And uh, your second card, if you've chosen number two, or you can choose both of them, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. And you um, might be remembering uh, where you were and how you studied. You might be remembering something from the kindergarten or your uh, primary school, how hard you worked and now you, you have experienced that and you're longing for uh, the playtime really. Like at school you've got learning and you've got the recreational time and you'll, you'll, you play with your friends on the school ground. Perhaps that you're still remembering about that and the hard work and remembering I did that so I could become this now. So that is the message that I'm getting. And you did enjoy the study and the hard work because you have got the benefit now and you're getting recognition for your hard work that you've done. You might be leaving a legacy behind for your children. Okay but you've got recognition. You also might be starting a new study. 
and that will give you money in the long term okay we're going to leo leo you've got the page of pentacles you are going to receive news about something that is material and earth earthly earthy something that you can uh, touch perhaps a new job uh, perhaps a new home perhaps a new relationship with a virgo capricorn or taurus Ooh, nice one leo and it is time to take time out what do you want to do with this news so it's think time think time with this news are you going to take that job or do you really want this house take time out and put your priorities in a list evaluate everything um before if you before you're going to start perhaps take a holiday because it's going to get busy once you start okay leo now we're going to virgo and virgo you feel as if you need to defend yourself you can defend yourself okay and you do it very well you can stand your ground you're not too worried you're not too worried virgo you are stronger than you realize perhaps you have been stabbed in the back by somebody and you thought they were your best friend so yep don't worry about that um, if they if if you have to defend yourself to a friend or against the friend uh, uh, what if, or against something that a friend has said it's not worthwhile having that friendship because they'll do it time and time again it's an it could be an end of a friendship for you today Virgo uh, because 10 is an ending and a new beginning right let negative energy go Virgo now we're going on to Libra and Libra you have also got public recognition you've got the chariot you might be moving home uh, or going on a trip and this trip could be with something that has wheels could be a car okay or an airplane or a bike wow nice one or if you've had your eye on a car it could be yours you're going onwards and upwards you've got victory and definitely you're going onwards you might be starting a new project or a new job a new relationship and of course this is absolutely awesome because the chariot is the sign of cancer and cancer that is a water sign and so that is air and water that could be a good sign that could that could go very well remember though leo you are a thinker so and water is emotions intuitiveness um spiritually so be open to that these are very sensitive people okay and you can be sharp tongued because you're an air sign the swords so take care what you say they are a good partner to have because they will nurture you and you do love that libra okay now we're going on to scorpio you've got the three of pentacles the three of pentacles means you've got recognition for your hard work you're no longer the apprentice you are fully fledged uh, person now Woohoo! and you can work well in groups perhaps you might be getting a job offering um, to work in a group or a team beautiful you've got recognition and there you go you've got the knight of rods and that is uh, action that means work also creativity a new hobby so you might be building something or making something in a group which is a hobby like building a boat something crazy uh, but if you get news uh, from a fire sign or from uh, if you get news then you'll have to act upon it swiftly uh, you might be get news from um, a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo okie dokie now we're going on to Sagittarius themselves and Sagi the ending is here you're nearly home okay so don't worry there is a new beginning for yourself you've been uh, through a 
difficult period and you are in your element because you've got the queen of rods so you might be meeting a sagittarius aries or a leo but you're definitely going for what you want this lady is determined and she knows what she wants and she'll go for it and you can see she will not you know, she can be quite sweet and purry and soft but she can also be the roaring lion although it's depicted by a cat and cats are very very uh, quiet and then once they see what they want like the mouse they pounce on it okay so go for it do take your time and pounce on it once it's there okay i love this reading and i hope you do too take care my sweeties and have a beautiful day or evening love you all ciao ciao please sub uh, subscribe and like and hit that bell and share with family and friends